Isabella, where are you? Haven't you been in the bathroom for a really long time? Are you okay? It's already been 30 minutes. Huh? Ah, sorry, some things came up. Some things? Aren't you in the bathroom? Where are you? It's been a bit too long now. Is it alright if I go home? Ah, uh, sorry, I've already left. Huh? I remembered something I had to do. There was a big sale at the supermarket. And if I didn't go now, everything would sell out. You left without paying? Ah, oh, the bill! Sorry, I forgot. Hey, how many times has this been now? Hmm? This is the first time, isn't it? No, it's not the first time. This will be the fourth time now. Uh, really? Sorry, I'm so forgetful. I don't remember it happening at all. I talked to the others and you owe them money as well. Hmm, money? You always leave when the bill's about to come. I paid for you not to cause the shop any trouble. But you should pay me back, okay? Oh, you paid for me? Thank you. I said I'll need the money back later. Will you be at home tonight? I want to get back my money from today. I can't pay you back. I don't have any money. But you had money for the sale today? I'm living off an allowance. I only had enough for the sale. So you went to lunch with me knowing you had no money? It seemed like fun, so I wanted to come along too. I don't mind if you come along, but I want you to pay for what you ordered. What? <laughs> you sound like mafia or something. Hello, my name is Emma. I'm a housewife. Twice a month, I've been going out for lunch with other moms. Isabella always disappears before the bill comes out. She's gotten worse recently, not even apologizing for leaving. While the money she owes piles up. Me and the other mothers are really upset about it. Everyone is saying they want me to pay them back. But I haven't asked anyone to lend me money. What? Don't I just forget to pay and leave? And then you guys are picking up my bill, right? That sounds more like you're all paying for me. What are you talking about? We're paying to not cause the restaurants any trouble. If you'd pay your bill before leaving, there'd be no problem here. I forget, so I can't really help it, right? No. Aren't you just doing this because you realize if you leave first, we'll pay the bill without you? What are you talking about? Of course not. Then, pay back what you owe. Tomorrow or some other day is fine. Not just my money, everyone's money. I just said I never asked anyone to lend me money. I'm not gonna pay back a loan I never asked for. We paid what you owed the store, so now pay us back. You're really talking like you're mafia or something, you know. This is normal. We're not asking for something you shouldn't pay back. Let's have a more fun conversation. Don't try to get out of this. Well, I'll go on a family vacation, right? With the rest of the lunch group? Yeah. I want to go too. No way. Why? You don't have any money. I do. Then pay what you owe first. I don't owe any money. If I pay someone every time they ask, I'll have no money. There's no way we'd go with someone to an expensive place like that who disappears every time the check comes around. Guess my reputation's a bit bad. Do I really always leave before the check? You even ran off today saying you had something you had to do. I'm not thinking about doing anything like that. Of course you are. Who's gonna stop you? You've already done it four times now. Stop being so touchy about it. You're scared of it happening? If you want to come with us, pay back the money you owe. I don't have the money. I can't. Then don't come. No, I'm gonna come. Even if you come, we won't pay for you. We'll get in trouble then, you know? Are you saying you're not gonna pay already? 
We don't even know why we're paying for you. Everyone's tired of it. I get it. It's okay. I don't believe you. When is everyone going again? I'm not telling you. Hmm. Why? Tell me. If I tell you, you'll come, right? So I'm not telling you. Until you pay everyone back, I'm not gonna say. Stop getting so worked up. It's childlike. Just tell me. Hey! Hello! If you pay everyone back tomorrow, I'll tell you. We're leaving at 5. Bye. The next day, I went to Isabella's house, but she didn't pay me back. I tried to talk to her husband, but he was stuck at work, so I couldn't. I didn't tell her where we were going to eat, and thought about trying to get her husband's number to talk about it later. There was nothing left to do, so I went home. Hey, you coming soon? The sushi's delicious. Hurry up, let's eat together. Huh? Are you saying... Why are you here? You came? You're late. Everyone's already eating. I'm asking, why are you here? You're already mad again? You'll scare the children and staff. Answer me! Do I have to? Yes, that's why I'm asking. Well, let's sit down first. You're troubling the staff. Pay and leave. Nobody invited you here. Don't be so cold. Let's get along, okay? I noticed the others. They told me, She's already here. Let's just sit. There wasn't really anything to do, so we sat together and started eating. The food was really good, but Isabelle was loud and eating messily. It was really ruining the mood. At one point, Isabella stood up with her kids. Isabella, where are you? We're getting the check now. Sorry, my kids wanted to go to the bathroom, so I'm taking them there. You're doing that again? What do you mean? You sound like I've been doing something fishy lately. That's right. Right before the check comes, you make some excuse and leave. I really did go to the bathroom. When are you coming back? It'll be a while still. Huh? It'll take some time so you can deal with the check first. Alright. You came here on your own, right? You've got other things to do so we'll leave first. Wait a minute. Where are you? Check your phone now. Missed call. What? We said we'd leave first. I'm on the train now so I can't answer the phone. Don't call me now. I got stopped by the waiters. They told me to pay. Didn't you guys pay? It should have been paid already. We paid separately from you. Huh? Why isn't it paid? Our bill is paid. What about mine? There's no reason for us to pay. Why? Didn't I ask you to deal with the bill? Why isn't mine a part of that? You weren't a part of our group. Huh? When we made the group, we weren't a part of it, and nobody invited you after. Yet, you snuck in and started eating on your own. I joined you guys, didn't I? You just came along to eat sushi. You're crazy if you think you can just pop in and eat without paying. Have some common sense here. Leaving without paying is more senseless. That's what I'm saying to you. That's what you always do. We always pay. I don't have any money. So? I can't pay. And? Come back! No! Why? I'm really in trouble here, you know? If I help you out here, you're not gonna even pay me back, right? I don't lend money to people who don't pay me back. I can't leave the shop. It's okay. You can. Huh? I called your husband. What? Olivia's husband is co-workers with your husband, so we got his number from him. After we talked to him, he said he'd come and get you. Wait a minute. Your husband will pay for you, so it's fine. This isn't good. Why? I could get divorced here. Huh? I used the money that I was supposed to spend buying a backpack for my daughter to buy a designer bag. We got into a fight, and things got really bad. Aw, oh, that's the worst. Right? Isn't he the worst? 
No, you're the one I was talking about. Huh? You're putting your wants over your daughter's needs. I feel sorry for them. But he probably should divorce you. If I get divorced, I have nowhere to go. If that happens, my life is over. Please stop him. If I tell him to stop, he can't leave the store. I don't want that either. Come back. We're going through a tunnel. The connection's getting bad now. We'll get the money you owe back later. So we'll talk later about other things. See you at preschool. Wait, help me. I don't want to get divorced. I'll pay everyone back. Just help me. Just this one time. I don't want to get divorced. Isabella's husband came to pay the bill for her and take her home. Later on, they came to us later to pay back the money she owed. They soon after got divorced, and the husband got custody of the kids. I heard Isabella's working to pay for child support now. We're no longer in contact with her, and after that, she never came to our lunch meeting again. It was relieving. The next story is: Our friend tried to mooch of of us by saying she'll pay us back. This is what happened to her. Amelia, the price for our trip to Hokkaido is fifty dollars, right? You're kidding, right? More like five hundred dollars. The only one who hasn't paid yet is you. Huh? Everyone else already paid? Isn't it too early? No, it's not early at all. There is only two weeks left until we leave. Next week, we're gonna pay the travel agency. Okay, okay. I'll pay sometime. Not sometime. Right away. I live with my husband and son. I'm going on a trip with my friends to Hokkaido. But one group member, Maya, no matter how many times we've asked them to, still hasn't sent the money. And now, the week before the trip. Amelia, about the Hokkaido trip. Finally, you'll pay. I was thinking about going to the travel agency tomorrow. Actually, I won't be going. Huh? I'm a bit busy lately, and now that I think of it, it's kind of a waste to spend my money on a trip. Really? Well, I can still cancel now, but you mean change the number of people going, right? Even if I don't go, the amount of rooms and size won't really change. Including you, four people were going. We could use a four-person room with three people, but then you shouldn't have to do anything, right? It'd be annoying, right? That's not the issue here. If you don't, everyone has to pay your portion. We're going to change it. Really? That seems like a lot of work. Whose fault is that? No matter how things are going, I made an appointment for tomorrow, so I'll cancel your accommodations. All right, if you say so. I changed the accommodation right after, but I was still shocked at how unapologetic Mia was. We knew she was that kind of person, though. So, the three of us were looking forward to our trip. Amelia, I've just arrived in Hokkaido. Huh? Why? For the group trip, of course. Mia, you said you weren't going to go. I changed my mind. I changed my schedule and decided I'd go along with you guys again. You said you didn't want to waste money on travel fees. I'll get some money from a relative living here, so it's fine. Even if you say that, you're coming out of nowhere like this. The plan was originally for four people, so I should be able to fit in. But I've only got fifty dollars right now, so I'll pay you back for the accommodation later. Fifty dollars? How did you get to Hokkaido then? Obviously, I bought a plane ticket. I mean, shouldn't you have brought more money here? If I join in with you guys, I should be able to get by. So you just wanted to mooch off of us. Isn't that a bit much? Like I said, I'd borrow some money from a relative here. Just until I can meet up with them, I'll pay everyone back later. But you already said you were canceling. Isn't it a little bit selfish to cancel and then just show up like this? I wasn't sure about things, so I canceled. But things are fine now, so I decided to come along. You should be thankful I was able to join. 
Thankful? That sounds a bit narcissistic. What's your train of thought here? People tell me I'm a positive thinker. It's why I'm popular. Popular? Not sure where you got that one from. Is something wrong with your brain? I know someone like you guys must really want to hang out with someone popular like me. I came for you guys, so for now, let's meet up. We can't. Don't be so stubborn. I'm sure everyone will be happy to hear the special guest came. Not so sure about that. Come on, let's meet up. You should be going to lunch around now, right? I want to eat seafood. Sorry, but we're gonna go eat taco salad. Huh? Taco salad? You're kidding, right? It's famous here, so we wanted to try it. Taco salad is famous here? What are you talking about? I thought that was Okinawa. We're in Okinawa right now. Huh? Okinawa? Wasn't the trip supposed to be in Hokkaido? Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't tell you, I guess. We decided to go to Okinawa instead. What? What do you mean? After you said you're cancelling, we went to the travel agency to pay for everything. Ah, uh, yeah, you did say you were cancelling some things. I thought it was stupid you'd go through all that work. Huh? Was it your plan to join in last minute all along? And just mooch off of us? Well, it's on the past now. More importantly, you only went to change the number of people going. Why do you change the location to Okinawa? The travel agency showed us a travel plan for Okinawa. There was a special plan there, so we decided to switch. I didn't hear anything about it, though. Of course you didn't. You said you weren't going. But you should have told me you were going to Okinawa. If I did, you would have joined in out of nowhere. We're lucky nobody said anything. I'm already in Hokkaido, though. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. You're the one who decided to drop in on our trip out of nowhere. I only have $50 on me. I can't pay for a hotel or buy a ticket back home. Why don't you ask your relative to lend you money now, then? I can't. Why? Things are looking pretty bad for you. I'm sure they can meet here early, right? I said I can't. I don't have any relatives here. You don't? You're saying you lied? You guys are cheap. So if I didn't say that, you wouldn't pay for anything for me? You're the worst. You think you can use us like that? I don't want to be called cheap by someone like you. But I'm in real trouble if you're not here. Hey, do you think you could come to Hokkaido and meet up with me? What's wrong with your brain? There's no way I'm going to Hokkaido from here. But I can't go home without you. At least lend me some money. You don't have a credit card or something on you? I can't use my cards. My husband will see the payments. You didn't tell your husband? That's why he sounded so confused when I told him about our trip. Wait, you told my husband? He's in the parents' group chat. He had something to ask you. And you weren't answering, so he messaged me. And what did he say back? I told him we're in Okinawa, so I didn't know where you are. You told him you were on vacation? Yeah, he was a bit confused. He asked, again? What's that about? I told him last week we all went on vacation. Last week? You went on vacation last week? But that has nothing to do with us. You're really dense. I told him I was on vacation with you guys last week. You said that? Who did you actually go with? With my boyfriend. Boyfriend? So you're cheating on him? And you used as an alibi for it? Rather than using you, I just used your name. But you went on vacation last week, right? What did he think it's weird you've been on vacation for the last two weeks? He doesn't know I'm here. I booked last minute without saying anything to him. That's why he suddenly said you're joining. I mean, if I actually went on vacation with you guys, my alibi is stronger. But I used the money he gave me for our trip last week. So you took the money from him 
told him you're on vacation with us, then went off and cheated on him. Just how sleazy can you get? Hey, you're the one who changed where you're going without saying anything. It ruined my plan. Take some responsibility. I don't want to be a part of a plan as trashy as this. I'm gonna tell your husband about what happened. What? You're gonna tell him? Yeah, obviously. I don't want him to think I have anything to do with this. I can't believe this. Just what do you plan on telling him? Everything I know. Who you went on a trip with last week? If you tell him that, I'm done with you. When you cheated on him, you didn't think this would happen sooner or later? You cheated on him without even thinking about something like that? I thought I wouldn't get caught. There's no way you wouldn't get caught. Trying to cover everything up with cheap lies like that? That's not true. Whatever. It's got nothing to do with me anymore. You better start trying to come up with an excuse to tell your husband. Stop trying to threaten me. You're not really gonna tell him, right? Unlike you, I don't lie. Honesty is the best policy. You can't. Please don't tell him. You can't stay in Hokkaido alone, right? I'll ask him to come get you. Stop! I can hitchhike back home or something. Hitchhiking? I guess maybe you could. <laughs> if I tell your husband, there's no guarantee he'll come get you either. Hey, you're not serious, right? You'll help me, right? You said you're positive, but maybe thick-headed fits better. Based on what just happened, I don't want to help you at all. I'm putting my life in your hands here. Please, just don't tell him. I'm gonna do it. He'll get rid of me if he knows I cheated on him. I don't want to have to work. Please, forgive me. Just this one time, help me out. After telling her husband, he left her in Hokkaido. Mia really did end up hitchhiking back. Exhausted, she came back to an empty house. The only thing left were divorce papers and bill for alimony. She was left alone to earn alimony and living expenses. This is what happens to trashy women like her.